Hey, what's up guys? This is BioHunter here. Got a round of domination on Scrapyard, and I am using the Vector with the Silencer attached. My perks are Scavengers, Stopping Power, and Ninja. And my killstreak loadout is the Predator, the Harrier, and the Chopper Gunner. Uh, but don't worry, I skip over that part so you guys don't have to bear through that. <laughs> so the first thing I want to do, guys, is uh, just give a big shout out and thanks to everyone who has recently subscribed, especially those that have come from Machinima. It's really sweet to know that you guys like my videos enough that you came over and subscribed and you want to see more. So I just want to give a big thanks to you guys. Thanks. The second thing I want to do, uh, the second part of the commentary, I want to uh, actually give and get into a little bit of a rant, so sorry about that. On one of my uh, previous videos that I posted on Machinima, it was like a intervention on terminal gameplay. I, uh, I made a comment about all the people that are viewing my, diff my videos. I said something like, uh, yeah, it's really sweet that people from Norway, Denmark, Sweden are checking out my videos, and even places I've never heard of, like Kentucky or South Dakota, weird places like that. Now... I live in the United States, and I know that Kentucky and South Dakota is part of the United States. I was using uh, sarcasm there, because uh, Kentucky and South Dakota aren't very popular states. Not many people uh, talk about them much. So that's why I kind of use them as an example. But I, I do know they are part of the United States. <coughs> Excuse me. And um, for any of you who are calling me out on that, if, uh, if you're a non-English you know, English isn't your first language. I can understand the mix-up. You know, it's hard to catch the in intricacies of uh, sarcasm. But if your first language is English, uh, fail. So moving on. Uh, another comment, well, actually, the same comment. While I was rattling off those places, I said, you know, uh, uh, let's see, Sweden, Denmark, uh, Norway, and then I said London. Now, I was just naming off places. I wasn't naming off countries. I know that London isn't a country, and I know there are the other cities in uh, England besides London, so you guys don't have to worry about that. I'm not a, not a complete retard. Sometimes I do say some pretty stupid stuff, but uh, in this case, I think I was in the clear. <laughs> uh, there's one other thing that I can't remember off the top of my head. Oh, yeah. A lot of people were complaining about the gameplay. They were saying I was using the scope too much. Um, well, in regards to that, oh, hang on. In re yeah, in regards to that, um, oh, my console's freezing up, I hate it when that happens. Hang on, I gotta skip this part. Hey, we're back. Okay, as I was saying, in regards to the people that were calling me out on my uh, sniping style on that terminal gameplay, uh, I'm gonna use the sniper in any way just to get the kill. I'm not, I'm not out to impress you guys with quick, quick scopes and no scopes and scope scopes or whatever the hell you guys are looking for. <laughs> But I'm just, I'm gonna do what it takes to get the kill, you know, I just don't wanna die. So, I'm not gonna intentionally hold the trigger for as short of a time as possible just to make it look cool, you know what I'm saying, guys? Um, maybe in the future I will, but as of right now, I'm just trying to get the kill. <laughs> so, but I can understand where some people were coming from. I, I The w way I worded the title, it was bad wording. So, uh, if you guys want to talk about what I mean, just look at my favorites and the way I worded the title. I can understand where you guys are getting upset, but the the trolls really came out for this one, and I, I took it up the butt. So, <laughs> but yeah, so that's the end of my little rant. So I shall try and commentate on the gameplay. So in the beginning of the game, I wasn't playing you know too aggressive. I was kind of hanging around in the middle of the map, not so far that the spawn would switch, but not so far back that I'm like camping or just you know trying to pick people off. But uh, right now, change a leaf or change of face, I don't know what the expression is, <laughs> trying to play pretty aggressive, you know, and I'm pretty much right in front of their spawn, but I'm not sure if they're spawning at A, because I don't see too many guys coming out, but I see a couple of my teammates running pretty close to B, so I'm assuming they might be spawning at A still, but after a while, just like, ah, screw it, might as well look at B and pick up that guy. So I'm almost on, oh, no, I see, I see a red dot just came up at A, so I'm trying to get away from there, but the guy ends up noob tubing me. Not the noob tube. Yo, oh, kill Jack. So right now I'm just trying to pick people off of B. I don't know if they're still spawning there, if the spawn switched to A. I'm trying to eagle eye. If you guys don't know what that is, where you don't move your uh, cursor at all to try and find something, because you can see easier when you're not moving. I've talked about it before, though. Like, well, I can't even see that guy right now on this screen, but yeah. <laughs> like that guy. Prime example. Another good spot to be is that dumpster right to my left. There's like a corner and you can see inside a B, and it's really hard for people to see that because they're not looking right there, you know. 
So if you're ever sure that a bunch of people are coming in to be, it's a good spot to chill just for a second or two. But don't don't camp there. You'll get you'll get pooped on pretty fast. Okay, so now we have B. So uh, I hear people around the corner, so I'm not just rushing around yet. But I'm trying to move around to flank at uh, A. But then I see they captured C. So I'm like uh, a little confused on what to do. <laughs> I don't I don't know why I knife there. Sometimes I freak out and I just hold my controller too hard and I knife when I don't mean to. And I think that's probably what happened there. No, he took my kill. Ah, don't you guys hate that? You'll be, you'll be going for one or two guys, and all of a sudden their little red squares will disappear. Oh well. But yeah, I'm still trying to move around, find a way to get to C. Uh, I don't know if I'm intent on capturing it, because I don't know if they're spawning there, so capturing their spawn is usually not the best of ideas. So I'm just trying to get inside and check out C. I think I hear, yeah, I hear that guy coming. And just trying to keep an eye. So if you guys see where I'm looking right now, I can see both through that hangar doorway and down the hall, like straight ahead. Oh, well, now I just kind of cut my view off, but that's because I heard that guy coming. So whenever you can, try to try to put your if you like that. There's two entryways. Try to put your cursor in the middle of them if there's a chance that they could come down either one. That way, if you know, depending on which side, you can quick move your cursor over. If you're looking at one entryway and they come down the other, you know, you got to drag it all the way over. So that's just something that I do. And I think it helps, and it just keeps you prepared in case you know, in case they come down either way. Now, if guys come down both at the same time. Well, <laughs> well, in that case, you're just screwed, and hopefully, you'll get one if you're lucky. And if you're really lucky, the other guy will have some bad aim, and you'll get them both. But don't count on that. Uh, I'm not sure if uh, if we make them quit here. I can see a couple guys are leaving. I got my predator, and I don't want to call my predator in at their spawn because that'll just get me killed, most likely. Just trying to find a little bit of a safer location. And another thing, when you guys have a Predator missile, kind of use it as a radar. Don't instantly press the right trigger to, uh, you know, just quick try and get a kill or something. Uh, sometimes, you don't see it on this video, but sometimes I like move the Predator around a ton, trying to get a view of the whole map so I can see where they're at, I can see where they're spawning. It's especially helpful if uh, you don't have a UAV or if none of your teammates are calling it in. You can see, uh, you know, where they're spawning, where they're at, and then... Uh, the first, well, the first thing I actually do when I call in a predator is try to find me and make sure there's no one around me because I don't want to be at five or six kills and die because you know I'm calling in my predator and I was that close to my harrier or something. So try and find yourself and then also try and find out the enemy's location. It's, you know, it's worth it. If you're using the predator, you might as well. Now, if there's like four guys that are on top of each other, then go ahead and go for them. It's okay. It's, it'll be worth it then. But if, uh, if you can't find too many people together, then keep an eye out and look around the map. Uh, so right, right now we have all the points. So I was a little confused on where to call it, and I was pretty sure they're spawning at A. And I guessed right, because we have a, we have a guy over by that C uh, hangar by me right now, and there wasn't too many people at A. But now, now we got everyone's over at A, so I'm like, crap. So actually, I run back in here on purpose to make sure the spawn, or to increase chance the chances of the spawn not switching. I'm not back here camping like a you know, noob just trying to pick off some people. I'm actually back here because my Harrier is on the other side of the map and I want it to get kills so I don't want them to spawn over here. You can uh, you can actually influence the spawn by just yourself. So just to let you guys know. And it's still four guys but I'm pretty sure they quit out. I see the radar. Whenever, uh, this is a little tip, whenever you put someone into last stand or final stand, try to chuck a flash grenade at them. Don't, don't waste a regular grenade, because if you chuck, a, or a stun grenade will work too, if you chuck a flash or stun grenade and they're only in, um, what's that, last stand, it'll kill them. But if they're in final stand, they'll still be alive, but they'll be stunned, so you can quick get around and shoot them. And that way, you know, you don't get killed trying to, you know, outshoot them and he's lying on the ground just waiting for you, so... That's something. That's something I do, and I think in one of my previous games I posted, I have a f de final death cam from a flashbang. So, just letting you guys know, do that. It'll help. And I'm just gonna keep playing through this chopper gunner because it's pretty close to the end of the game, so there's no point in cutting it out. So when I'm using the chopper gunner, also just as in the predator, I look at me. You can see me. I'm like that little red, uh, not red, that green um, kind of health symbol that you see for hospitals and stuff like that. And I'm pretty safe right now, no one around me. So I'm um, feeling you know, so don't have to worry about it too much. But that's the end of the game guys. I wanna thank you for watching. Please rate, subscribe, and comment. Tell me what I'm doing right, wrong, both in gameplay and my commentary. I do listen. Thanks guys. Peace.